Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to build your own cheap septic tank. If you stick around, I will show you the exact amount you will need for the setup at the end of the video. Thanks a lot to all my subscribers. I'm very humbled by your support. If you are new here and want different tips on how to survive off-grid, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So for this job you will need a drill with a 4.5 inch hole saw. 355 gallon plastic barrels. A 20 feet PVC pipe with a diameter of 4 inches. 3 PVC tees with a diameter of 4 inches. PVC cement. And a spirit level. It's recommended to maintain a minimum distance of 10 feet between the septic system and your building as per most local regulations. The drain pipe from the toilet should have a consistent slope of a quarter inch per foot to ensure proper gravity flow into the septic tank. This means that for every four feet of horizontal pipe, the pipe should drop one inch vertically. This can be done by using a four feet spirit level. Cut a one inch spacer, for example, a wood block. Place the level on top of the pipe. Place the one inch spacer under the level to the side of the tank. Lift the pipe until the bubble settles exactly in the middle. So for a 10 feet distance, we shall need a 2.5 inch drop. Leave 6 inches between the top of the septic tank and the inlet drain pipe entry point. You can use 3 septic tees in this system. The inlet tee should have 3 inches extending above the horizontal inlet pipe, which lives 3 inches from the top of the tank. The recommended distance in most areas is 2 inches. Leave 14 inches extending below it, ensuring proper flow direction and scum and solid separation. The outlet tee is 3 inches lower than the inlet tee, and the third tee is 3 inches lower than the outlet tee, which means that for the outlet tee this will be 6 inches, and this will be 11 inches. And for the third tee this will be 9 inches, and this will be 9 inches while all tees maintain the same distance from the bottom of the tank. After choosing the right location, dig a hole that is 4 feet wide and 10 to 12 feet long, with a depth of 4 feet. The hole for the drain pipe can be 2 feet deep and 1.5 feet wide. Add 1 foot of depth on the side you will put the leach field barrel and add 6 to 12 inches of stone for the gravel base. This allows effluent to filter down into the soil properly. Using the drill with a 4.5 inch hole saw, drill your tanks while keeping the right distance from the top. Use PVC cement to fit the septic tees. So to install the system, you will need to cut a hole on top of the barrel that is big enough for the PVC tees to pass. I will take off the top just for demonstration. You can start by adding a rubber grommet on the drain pipe. A rubber grommet helps create a watertight connection between the drain pipe and the tank wall. That's why we use a 4.5 inch hole saw to account for the grommet. Use PVC cement when connecting the septic tee to the pipe. Don't forget to punch enough holes in the leach field tank. After installing the tees, cover up the hole and seal it with PVC tape. Bury the primary settling tank and secondary settling tank with soil and bury the leach field tank with 2 to 4 inches gravel. Add the geotextile fabric and cover it up with soil. 
It's strongly recommended to add water to your septic system after installation. Empty plastic barrels can float or shift in the ground when it rains or if groundwater rises. Filling them with water anchors them in place. The price of a 55-gallon tighthead blue plastic barrel typically ranges from $60 to $80 US dollars. But for a more accurate estimate, let's assume $80 per barrel, which is $240 for the three barrels. A 4-inch PVCT is around $3 each, which comes to $9 for three. And for 20-foot pipe with 4 inches in diameter, prepare around $50 to $70, but for the best estimate, let's assume $70. PVC cement will cost you around $16. The price of gravel rock is $21 per ton. You will need at least 2 to 3 tons. We shall go with 3 tons, which makes it $63 for the gravel rock. 1 grommet costs $8. We shall need 5, which will be $40. So the overall cost for the septic system will be $438. Below, I have shared the Amazon links of the products. You can check them out if you like. All right, now that we have it, I would like to thank you for watching until the end. You're among the few who have an exceptional attention span. Hoping to see you in the next video. If you would like to learn how to build a tiny cabin, check out the video in the description. Take care.